Okay, and welcome to the next video brought to you by Shoulder Impingement Exercises. Today we're going to look at the rotator cuff muscles and exercises to improve them. Now the rotator cuff muscles are probably the notorious muscles of, of the shoulder. They are often the, the muscles that when they are having troubles, either being too tight or weak, can cause problems in the shoulder. And so the four muscles, there's four muscles, one called the supraspinatus, infraspinatus, subscapularis, and teres minor. And basically they connect the the arm bone to the shoulder blade. So they're, they're not a very long muscle. And if we're looking at the back, from the back here, uh, you have a kind of a bony part in your shoulder blade. Above that is the supraspinatus, below it is the infraspinatus, and below here is the one called the teres minor. Now, if we look at the shoulder blade from the other side, so this is actually in between the, the shoulder blade and the rib cage, there's a muscle here called the subscapularis. There's my pointer. And it actually comes through to the front of the arm. So it, it's still coming from behind, but it, it loops up, up into the armpit to connect into the, the front of the arm bone. Now their job as a muscle is as the arm moves overhead, they help the shoulder or the arm bone rotate precisely in that shoulder joint. Now if the if they don't help it rotate precisely, the arm bone here can bang up into uh, the top, this is called the acromion part of the shoulder shoulder blade. And as you can see, here's that muscle, the subscap supraspinatus. Sorry, I'm getting them mixed up there. Uh, if that arm bone doesn't rotate precisely, spins on an, an axis, so, so to speak, and moves upwards, you can see how that muscle can get pinched. And that's uh, typically what can cause uh, an impingement. So if we look at how we exercise those muscles, I normally like you to build up the endurance first. So that means a lower resistance, more repetitions. And then we build up the more the strength, so let's get those muscles stronger. So that normally means a uh, a stronger resistance, lot, uh, less repetitions, and then lastly is power. So that's uh, more being able to move forcefully, but also move very quickly. So very important in activities such as throwing. So in order to exercise these muscles, I think you do need some sort of resistance. And the, the two type of resistance I usually recommend is, is one TheraBand, which is a stretchy rubber, uh, different colors or different resistances and for some of the other exercises I recommended a dumbbell. Initially you don't need that heavier dumbbell to get, give these muscles a good workout. As far as sets of repetitions, I, I'd start off with probably three, three sets of 10. Um, you want to feel the muscles getting tired but you don't want to kill them. And then you build up to three lots of 30 so that you're more working on the endurance. Once you can do three lots of 30, then you increase the resistance so that you, you work on the strength. So let's have a look at the exercises. I've got three exercises for you here. The first one is called standing external rotation with TheraBand. Uh, so let's have a look at that one. Very good. Now, sometime with that one, placing a rolled up towel underneath the elbow uh, studies have just shown that that helps activate those rotator cuff muscles a little bit more, um, makes them a little bit more active. So uh, let's have a look at the, the second one. Oops, I, I've got two ones there, but it should be, this should be the second one. And it's called standing internal rotation. It's very similar to the first one, except this time we're moving the opposite direction. So let's have a look at that one. And thirdly, let's have a look at sideline side line external rotation. Uh, the key with this one is to have the elbow and the, the shoulder uh, in the same plane or the same line on the side of your body. Only have to do small little motions to do this. Sometimes you might have to just gently squeeze your shoulder blades together to, to feel it in the right spot. And you'll be surprised, you don't have to have that heavier weight to get a good work 
workout for these muscles. So let's have a look at this one. Very good, and there you have uh, rotator cuff exercises brought to you by shoulderimpingementexercises.com. For more information, uh, come visit us at the site. Thank you very much.